organic or not, milk is an important source of vitamin D, of course, and it could help people suffering from asthma. CBS News' Dr. Max Gomez here to explain that. Dr. Max? That's right, Christina Maurice. You know, when asthma is well controlled, it can be reduced to an occasional breathing issue. Asthma becomes serious, though, even life-threatening during an attack when the airway spasm and shut down. That's what doctors want to prevent. Turns out vitamin D may help do the trick. Tightness in your chest, you would be having a hard time breathing, a lot of coughing, you feel like your airways are really tightening, um, you're like turning red. Chris Udavan is describing the sensation of an asthma attack. His lung problem is pretty well controlled these days, but there's one more thing he could be doing to prevent another attack. We've known over the last few years from many studies now that a low vitamin D level may portend negative impact on lung function in those with asthma. That's right, vitamin D, sometimes called the sunshine vitamin because your skin makes it when exposed to sunlight, and which is essential for calcium absorption and strong bones, also seems to have an anti-inflammatory property. And inflammation is the key characteristic of asthmatic airways. Now an Israeli study in the European Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology finds that vitamin D is very important for asthmatics. In this study, the low vitamin D levels were correlated with a greater incidence of asthma and poorly controlled asthma. Blow, 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 In fact, patients with the lowest vitamin D levels had more frequent and more serious asthma attacks. Udavan told me he knows his vitamin D level is low. Well, every time I would go to my yearly physical, I would have lower levels of vitamin D. The solution is more time in the sun, hard to do in a New York winter, and risks skin cancer. Drink more cow's milk, but you need a lot if you're really deficient, or just take vitamin D supplements. A good amount of vitamin D would help my asthma. That, of course, I would be doing something to kind of treat that. Now, even though most people in the northern hemisphere are low in vitamin D, we just don't get enough sunshine, and you have to take massive doses of vitamin D before it becomes toxic, it's still a good idea to have a blood test to find out your actual level before taking supplements. Christy? All right, Dr. Max, thank you for that information.